New tonight, Pasco County leaders are coming face to face with many frustrated families. This after several people have spoken to us about flooding in their neighborhood that still has not receded. Some homes have more than a foot of water still inside them. We've been hearing so many people's concerns since Milton caused local rivers to rise. And new tonight, our Chad Mills shows us how the county is now responding. An unprecedented amount of damage here in Pasco County, County telling people that it's going to take time to clean everything up and rebuild. They want people to remain patient. When will the water go away? Two weeks after Milton, that's the question so many in Pasco County are asking right now, including Krista Larkin. There's going to be a significant amount of time before we're going to be back in the home. Her Zephyr Hills home in the Silver Oak subdivision still has water inside it, and numerous other homes here and across the county do too. We start mildewed all over. Even stuff that wasn't in water is just covered with mildew, so we basically have lost everything. She's here in this town hall meeting to hear what the county's doing to help. So this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. Leaders underscored recovery will take weeks, maybe months, but is happening. Debris pickup is in the early stages, but a countywide sweep is now underway. Inspections are underway too, with 9,000 completed so far. As for flooding, the county now has 46 pumps at its disposal to help. And we care here at Pasco County. That answers some of the questions in this room, but not all of them. Question that sparked this applause and a room full of head nods as rapid development in Pasco County played a role in the unprecedented flooding. Krista thinks so. I think they need to stop building. <laughs> she thinks it's part of the reason why her home still looks like this, why the water isn't going away. As for all the development, the county administrator did say commissioners will study if development is playing a role in the flooding, but reminded just how much rain this area got over the past couple months. In Dade City, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.